friends, it's Miss Tammy at Brazil Public Library. We're continuing with summer reading and we are making these adorable little gnomes. Look at that, look how cute they are. And I'm gonna show you how to make these little gnomes. And you get a kit just like this. And what is in the kit is two squares of fabric because you can make two gnomes. You get two corks. One is painted, one is not. That means you can paint this any color you want. You get some jute string on there and you get some yarn. And on that yarn is a tiny little bead right there. So you get a little bead and then you get a big string of yarn like this. And this is going to be his mustache. So let's get started. So I'm going to use this gray and white checked one. And from home, you need some scissors and some glue to help hold it on there while you're tying everything, while you hold the hat on there while you're tying everything. So I'm going to use the pink one. And then on this square of fabric, I'm going to make a little, a little cuff. So I'm going to kind of cuff it up a little bit. Oh, you know what? First, what I'm going to do is get my glue started. I'm going to put a little bit of glue around one end of my cork. And this is just going to hold this fabric on there so I can get it tied all on there. So I got a little cuff on there. See how I did that? And then I'm just going to take it around where the top where I glued. Pull it all the way around. Get a little bit more glue on here. And it will look like this. So, and that the glue helps it stay on there so you don't have to have your fingers doing a hundred different things. So while that is sitting there, I'm going to take a piece of my jute. And I'm going to tie it around where I just have that little cuff on there. I'm going to tie it on here and make sure it gets on to hold it on there. So let's tie it around there. I doubled mine and oh, look at that slippery little bugger. Okay, so. Get it tied on here, wrap it around, tie it, and then I want to tie it in a knot so it doesn't come off. There we go, just like that. And I'm going to cut these off a little bit. There we go. This other piece of jute, I'm going to kind of make this into a little pointy at the top. I'm going to take this and tie it around the top part of it. I'm going to tie this and I'm going to make it so I can hang it if I want to hang it and if I don't want to hang it I don't have to but I'm going to make it to where I can hang it a little bit in case I need to. And there we go. Look just like that. Now this is the fun part. You take your yarn. I'm going to make his little mustache. You take the long piece of yarn and you wrap it around your fingers as far as they will go. Just like that. And I'm going to leave it, pull it out like that. Don't pull it all apart. Leave it like that. And then where this, we have this other piece of yarn with the little tiny bead on it. That is his nose. So I'm going to put it right here in the middle and I'm going to tie this little piece of yarn around the middle of your bundle of yarn. And there, can you see that? There is his little nose right in the middle. Then I have these two long pieces left. I'm going to take and wrap around my cork. And tie it around the back. It's so easy and it's so cute. You can make a whole village with fairies and gnomes. There we go. Now with my scissors, I'm going to cut this tail off here. And then where we have them looped right here, I'm going to cut these loops. 
and that makes his mustache. And there he is. He's so cute. Like I said, you can make a whole village. Oh, and look how long his mustache is. This is really long compared to his. But that's okay, you want them all to be different. So here you can color this one in whatever color you want and make your own one. And if you have somebody that has a bunch of corks, have them give them to you. You can make you a whole village. How cute is that? So stop in, get your, your bag for your craft here. We also have some fairy doors left. So pick them up while you can and enjoy making all your little gnomes. Bring them in so we can see them. So we'll see you next time. You guys have a great day. Bye.